السلام عليكم طلاب المرحلة الثالثة كلية طب جامعة نيسان We are continuing about our infectious uh, diseases lectures and today we'll talk about viral hemorrhagic fever It is a very good topic What's viral hemorrhagic fever? It is severe multisystemic syndrome cause damage to the endothelial surface of the vascular system and the symptom often accompanied by hemorrhage, rarely life-threatening in itself. It can cause conjunctivitis, petechiae, and ecchymosis. The organism. Uh, we have uh, Arena Vidi, uh, Bonia Veridi, Philo Veridi, and Flavi Veridi. These are the families of the viral uh, infection that cause hemorrhagic fever. What's interesting uh, in our society, in our uh, country, is crime in Congo, hemorrhagic fever, uh, Boni Veridi. Boni Veridi, Rift Valley fever virus, crime in Congo, hemorrhagic fever virus, and Hanta virus. Boni Veridi as a group, history, 1930, Rift Valley fever, Egypt, it is episodic in sheep. In 1940, uh, crime in Congo, hemorrhagic fever, from which the name of the city occur, crime in Congo, from the Congo, uh, in uh, crime in Peninsula, hemorrhagic fever in agricultural worker. 1951, hantavirus in uh, Korea, which caused hemorrhagic fever in United Nations troops. Uh, Boni Veridi transmission, it is anthroboard factors, exception. Hantavirus, Rift Valley Fever, Aedes Mosquito, and Crime in Congo Hemorrhagic Fever, Exoded Tick. Exoded Tick. Hantavirus, uh, as I said, exception is rodent and less common uh, erosal exposure to infected animal tissue. Boniveridi Epidemiology, Rift Valley Fever, or Marisama Bihumma Wadi Mutasadi. African and Arabian Peninsula, 1% case fatality rate, while crime in Congo hemorrhagic fever fatality rate reaching to 30%. Hantavirus, uh, variable to the disease in South America, Eastern Europe, and Eastern Asia, 1 to 50% fatality rate. And this is crime in Congo hemorrhagic fever distribution, ma'am. Uh, this is Iraq. So Iraq, one of the uh, countries that involved by this virus. It is a zoonotic disease. It means a disease of uh, animal primarily transmitted by tick. It was first described in Soviet soldier in the Crimean, uh, uh, in Medina al Qarmin, 1944, and was named uh, Crimean fever. 1956, the virus was isolated from a child in Congo with a similar symptom and was named Congo virus. So, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever range affect a range of animals. Humans are the only known host that develop the disease. Still in uh, Boniveridi, humans, Rift Valley fever incubation period 2 to 5 days, 0.5 hemorrhagic fever, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever incubation period 3 to 7 days, hemorrhagic fever 3 to 6 days, following clinical sign, Hantavirus 7 to 21 days. Uh, days, largest incubation period, hepatocybin megani, and lymphadenopathy. Boniveridi in animals, Rift Valley fever cause abortion, 90% of affected animal, mortality rate more than 90% in young, about 60% in older animal, crime in Congo, hemorrhagic fever, and apparent infection in livestock. So, in animal, cause no symptom. Hantavirus, and apparent infection in rodent. Pathogenesis of uh, chronic hemorrhagic fever, viremia present throughout the disease, it means the presence of the virus in the blood. Immune fluorescent antibody tests become positive in patient destined to survive days four to six, often simultaneously with viremia. So after at least uh, four to, seven, uh, to six days, the uh, viral load will be appear positive in, in, in the blood test. Recovery may be due to neutralizing antibody. Patients that die usually still viremic, it's a very important issue, so uh, should consider it. 
virus grow in macrophage and other cells and DIC often present poor prognosis how you know that the patient having a bad prognostic course elevated liver enzyme ASD and clotting abnormalities PT and PTT prolong so uh, we start with one this is adult female drop of host to lay eggs two eggs hatch into six legged larvae three uh, Sebring, this is the rodent, four during summer and fall engorged uh, leaf, the first host, uh, winter and Sebring, uh, this is the ticks, exotic ticks and from which the adult attached to the uh, second host for feeding and matting sure. so it leaves on the skin of the uh, livestock. Epidemiology is an emerging infection disease giving the Expanding distribution of its main vector, ticks, uh, tick of the genus Hyloma. Each year, more than 1,000 human cases are reported from Southeast Europe and Western Asia. The primary means of transmission is by human, by tick bite. Tick bite. So, transmission most commonly via tick bite or crushing of ticks with bare finger. Transmission can also occur via direct contact with the blood or other body fluid of livestock. Nosocomial transmission has been distributed or described, sorry, means that the infection getting during hospital admission. So healthcare workers are uh, target for this infection. Healthcare personnel are also uh, at risk of infection during aerosol generating procedure. Vertical transmission has been described the role of Sexual transmission is uncertain, so who are risk group at risk of crime hemorrhagic fever? Uh, agricultural worker, individual in rural area, engaged in animal uh, husbandry, uh, abattoir worker, veterinarian, leather factory worker in area with high tick density, campers and hickers, hunter, soldier, healthcare worker, and travelers to endemic area. Clinical feature after four to six days of tick exposure, two to seven days in incubation, abrupt onset of fever, chills, myalgia, severe headache. These are non specific symptoms. Malaise, GIT symptom, anorexia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, which is significant. Elevation of liver enzymes can herald aggressive course of the disease. Hemorrhage may be profuse, hematoma, and ecchymosis. And these are the list of differential diagnosis of. Uh, Climbing Congo hemorrhagic fever. The diagnosis of viral hemorrhagic fever must be considered in all individuals who present with fever within 21 days of leaving an endemic area or who present with hemorrhage or organ failure. How you diagnose it? Serology, PCR, immune histochemistry, viral isolation, electron microscope. The, the best, uh, the, uh, the cheapest one and the rapid one is serology followed by PCR. So what about the treatment? The treatment usually supportive, give IV fluid, give antibiotics, uh, give antiemetics, uh, convalescent face plasma, Argentinian hemorrhagic fever, Bolivian hemorrhagic fever, and Ebola, uh, convalescent face plasma, which means taking antibody from recovered patient with those disease and give it to to affected person, strict isolation of affected person, person is required. Report to health authorities. So it is a notifiable disease. You should report the cases to the health authorities. In addition to general supportive measures, ribavirin is given intravenously, 100 milligram, then 25 for three uh, days and 12.5 for four days. And this ribavirin is only affected with Lassa fever as a cause of hemorrhagic fever. So antiviral only use for Lassa fever. Uh, prevention and control, avoid contact with host uh, species, rodent, control rodent population, discourage rodent from entering or living in a human population, save clean up of rodent nets and and uh, dropping insects, use insect repellents, proper clothing and bed nets, uh, window screens and other barrier uh, to insect, vaccine only for yellow fever as a cause of hemorrhagic fever, 
so uh, antiviral treatment ribavirin only for Lassa fever and vaccine only for yellow fever in a human case if a human case occurred decreased person to person transmission isolation of affected person is essential protective cloth Thing, uh, disposable gowns, gloves, masks, and shoe covers, protective eyewear when splashing might occur, or if patient is disoriented or uncooperative. WHO and CDC uh, developed manual infective control for viral hemorrhagic fever in the African and health and uh, healthcare uh, setting. These are the protective equipment worn by nurse during Ebola outbreak as a cause of hemorrhagic fever in Zaire and this is the N59 mask has particle filtration efficacy of more than 95% uh, so it is important to isolate those patients with viral hemorrhagic fever and all healthcare workers should be fully protective whenever dealing with those patients and it is a notifiable disease should be uh, notified to high authorities can we use viral hemorrhagic fever as biological weapon most are not stable in dry form most have uncertain stability and uh, effectiveness in erosal form uh, arenovirus have tested effectiveness in erosal form uh, vaporized form marbig and ebola have high case fatality rate rift valley is the most stable in liquid or frozen state, viral hemorrhagic fever do both a threat as aerolyzed agents. So, some types of uh, viral hemorrhagic fever can be used as biological weapon. Yes, can threaten uh, other countries. So, by this, uh, thank you very much for listening.